All right, we're gonna do a walk around video. 2020 Cornerstone 45B. As you can see, I have all the awnings out. Awning lights are on. Go over control of the awnings in a bit. We're gonna start out with the keypad for the keyless entry. To lock the coach, you're gonna press and hold the one, two button continuously. And it will lock everything and set the alarm. To unlock the coach, you're going to enter your zip code, which I'm not going to show on this video in case someone else watches it. Oops. And then after you enter your code, if you hit the three, four, it unlocks everything. If you hit the un one, two, it unlocks the entrance door only. So again, your zip code is your entrance code. Hold the one, two button continuously to lock the coach. Enter your zip code, press the one, two, and it unlocks the entry door. Enter your zip code, press the three, four, it unlocks the whole coach compartments and all. Diesel fuel, you have one fuel tank and you have a fuel fill on each side. Your awnings. You have a remote control right here. Turn it the right way up. Zero zero is both awnings. This is the two main awnings only. Zero one is the front awning. Zero two is the rear awning. You want to put them both in or out. Zero zero. Press and hold in for a second. And the awnings go in together. If I wanted to put just the rear one in, I'd put it on zero two and use either in or out to put it where I want. And the same with the front, zero one for the front. This awning remote is for the main awnings only. And there's a little hanger in here that it sits in. Your outside freezer is in a tray. It's got two locks, one on each side. It's a 200% opening, so it'll open up completely, even with the slide out out. Flip the ca uh, latch caps. Flip the lid, and it is cold right now. You can set it for Celsius, or you can set it for Fahrenheit, that's your choice. Cord, and you can see back there it's 12 volt and 110, and there's some of your networking stuff right there. I have all the compartment doors open right now. This is your front slide tray. In and out on each door. Same thing on the other side. It'll go in or out either way. The box that's got all the pattern on it there is spare tiles. The cardboard box with the little pieces of car uh, carpet on it is your vacuum cleaner kit. And the awning wand is for your window awnings. Outside TV is on a pull-out mount, so you can pull it out and adjust it to different angles. The Bose audio comes out with it. Push it back in until the magnets click. Your TV remote is right there. Your Bose remote is there. There is a satellite connection there. If you had a small direct TV receiver, you can hook it up outside here. It already is wired to the antenna. The big white box is a starter kit. Starter kit has a sewer hose, a drinking water hose, rotate that around, toilet chemical, toilet paper, a water pressure regulator, and a 110 adapter. The slide tray works the same as the other ones. Have an in and out button. All right, inside this compartment, there's a bunch of stuff going on in here. Number one, in the middle there, are your two inverters. Now located on the inverters, you see those little round circles? There is a push-in resettable breaker on each inverter. Very seldom does that trip, but if you were to overload the inverter, you might need to come down here and reset that. All right. 
this box right here is your WineGuard Connect Wi-Fi booster. And then up here you have plug-ins for the booster and the wiring for your DirecTV antenna. Behind this panel here, see that carpeted corner piece is screwed on and that panel is screwed on. Behind there is your house batteries. Behind this panel here, this panel here is all is on with Velcro. Just give it a yank. And back here we have our DCD panel and other modules up here like the slide controllers and uh, various other controllers that are up in here. At the bottom down here, once I put this panel back on, that is your compartment heat, that's your bay heater. You got a 110 outlet, your Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner hookup out here, and your power controller for your solar panels. This is the same compartment. This is just looking into it from this door. You have two inverter disconnects. If the inverter disconnects are not on, the inverters won't work. And then down here is leveling jacks, house power, battery link, and your fender compartment, which is up in the front electrical area. Each one of those, if you push the red button, shuts that section off. There, when you do that, there's a little flipper that comes out, push it back in to reset it. This is the back side of your wet bay, your gravity fill, that pull strap allows you to get access back there, really not anything you should need to get into, but underneath here is a water valve, that's where you drain your fresh water tank. Coming back, you got these little lumps on the side. Those are part of your uh, collision monitoring and your blind spot monitors. Your DEF tank, house batteries. This round cover is a fuse panel. Rotate it counterclockwise slightly and lift the panel off. It's all really well labeled inside that Spartan fuses. These two breakers we use as battery disconnects and storage. And then we have our air dryer, a fuel filter, and this switch is to put your rear engine door up or down. And then you got a dryer vent right here. Right now I got the rear engine vent up. You can see your air filter, transmission fill and dipstick, radiator. engine fill, engine dipstick. Back up here is your trans or your uh, power steering fluid. It does use AW46 oil, not, tra not transmission fluid. Down here this filter is for your hydraulic system for your power steering fan and that stuff. There's a outlet here when you're plugged in you can Plug this cord in for your block heater, or you can just run an extension cord straight to it. All right, I paused for a second while I close the engine door. Up there in the middle, I don't know how well you can see it in the video, is your backup camera, your Integra name badge, your lights and stuff up above, tail lights, exhaust pipe, backup lights, your hitch, and then to the right of the hitch is your seven-way trailer connector. To the left of the hitch is your tow brake. That's your air outlet if you have a Air Force One or any of the air-operated braking systems on your vehicle. Side-mounted radiator. Driver side DEF remote fill. So you can fill the DEF from this side as well. Behind this little door here is your Santacon hose. You have two ways to dump this system. 
We're going to go into that here in a second. But right now, we're going to go over the wet bay. You have a power cord, power hose reel. When you get this thing and use it for a little bit to finish rinsing it out, you can remove this blue hose and there is a filter that goes in here in place of that hose. That goes to your refrigerator. From the hose coming in through the hose reel, it comes up to this connection. So if your hose reel were to fail, you can disconnect it right here and hook your water up here. This valve right here, when we turn it this way, is to fill our fresh water tank. It has to be vertical to use it. Light switch, and your macerator switch turns on your SantaCon unit. Gray tank has a valve. It is electronic, so you just flip the switch to open the valve. Same with the black tank. You see your tank monitor system right here. I haven't dumped them yet, but you have water pump, cargo lights, and your monitors right there. Over here is your whole house water filter. Every bit of water in this coach goes through this filter. From this filter it goes through the whole system and then it goes to this filter and from this filter it goes to the refrigerator and then there's another filter in the refrigerator. So water and ice, once you're all set up, water and ice in the refrigerator are triple filtered. Yeah, the outside shower hose hookup and your filter wrench is right behind there. Hot and cold faucet or outlet. Down here, this valve is to this plastic hose. This is your winterization. You stick the plastic hose into a jug of antifreeze and you flip that valve, turn on the water pump and run antifreeze through your system. Further back in there, you see those two valves? Those are your low points for your hot and cold. Your hot's red, your blue is cold. Okay. They give you this little angle adapter so that you can hook up a standard sewer hose underneath here. This valve right here goes to that sewer hose connection. So if you don't want to use it, you can close that. There's a valve back there. That valve goes to your SantaCon hose. All right. The purpose of this is if you were to have a problem with the SantaCon, you could close this valve and then use this one to dump. Most of the time you're going to leave this valve open and you're going to use your SantaCon hose. Depending on where you're at and what your situation is. Right now, this is just water and antifreeze from your gray tank. I'm just dumping that on the ground. And that's coming out through the bypass valve. Now, when you're hooked up with the SantaCon, you can run gray water through it without running the macerator. But when you dump your black tank, it has to go through the macerator. This white panel here covers the opening there. <coughs> Makes it look a little bit nicer when we're all closed up. Let that finish dumping. And we're going to move up here. In here, we have our power power cord reel. This is our 50 amp reel. Behind that, it goes into that surge guard transfer switch. Even though you have surge protection, we do highly recommend that you get a good quality inline protector because if this tank takes a big surge, it just blows up. And that's what it's designed to do. It protects your coach. Up here we have a cable TV in hook, hookup, and we have a uh, 110 hookup, and that plug is going to your vacuum cleaner, which I'll show you in a bit, and that switch there is for your power cord reel. Your aqua hot is a diesel fired boiler, okay? It burns diesel fuel and heats up a tank of antifreeze, and there's your overflow for the antifreeze and your filter for the diesel. Once that is hot, if you need heat, when you go to gas heat on your thermostat inside, it pumps antifreeze through heat exchangers and warms your coach up. It also has floor heat. It will pump antifreeze through the floor and warm the floor up. It is also electric. However, the electric has much smaller heat output, so it's not as efficient. This is your monitor. I don't know how 
how well you're going to be able to see that in here. But if you read that screen, it tells you what's going on. You can check all your statuses. You can hit next. When you hit next, it gives you your model, serial number, system status, and everything. And then at the bottom, you have home, faults, diagnostics, and tests. So if you were to have a problem, you can go in here and run diagnostics and run fault checks to see what's going on with it. And then you can make a call. If you ever have a problem with this thing, on this sticker is your model and serial number. If you call any of us that are Aqua Hot technicians, we're going to want to know model and serial number so that we can verify that we're giving you the correct information because there are different breakdowns in how they do things over the years as they build them. So, very helpful. We'll pause again. Okay, also, as you can see, they put these notches in here with the uh, seals around them so that you can stick your, co your power cord and your water hose into those notches. There's a 50 to 30 adapter that's there that's included with your coat. Over on this side, we have our Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner. All the bags, starter bags and all that are in there. Other than kicking it on for a few seconds to make sure it works, it has not been used. Your power slide tray from this side with a control switch on this side. Again, it'll go out and in on either side. Same thing here. Again, there's a picture of your vacuum cleaner accessories, some extra pieces of carpet for the stairs, and your power tray here. And again, outer end from either side. Next up, another storage compartment. This black bag has all your owner's manuals in it. That carpeted panel right there, you see those wires hanging down? Those are the antennas for your awning controller. Please don't cut them off. Uh, your awning remotes will not work. We have uh, had a customer that uh, thought they looked terrible and clipped them off and then he was complaining why his awnings didn't work right. And it was because he cut the wires off them. One other thing I do point out with the Integra coach, every single slide out motor is the same. Whether it's under the bed, no matter where it's at, they all use the same motor in every location. So if you were to go somewhere where you wanted to take a spare slide out motor with you, you don't have to have a different one for each room. They all use the same part number, same motor. 